He is known for his close friendships with leading composers of the 19th century, despite a turbulent personal life. He displayed exceptional musical talent from a young age, excelling as an organist and pianist. His name is Theodore Kirchner. In the realm of 19th century music, one name stands out among the rest, Theodore Kirchner, a legendary composer and pianist who enjoyed the friendship and admiration of many leading composers of his time. Born in Neukirchen near Chemnitz, Germany, Kirchner displayed his musical talents at a young age, becoming an accomplished organist and pianist by the age of eight. His journey into the world of music began in Leipzig, where he studied under renowned musicians J. Knorr and K. F. Becker. Kirchner's exceptional skills led him to become a pupil of J. Schneider in Dresden and a student at the Leipzig Conservatory. Kirchner's talent and dedication caught the attention of Felix Mendelssohn, who recommended him for the position of organist in Winterthur, Switzerland in 1843. He held this position for nearly 20 years, during which time he formed friendships with influential composers such as Robert and Clara Schumann, as well as Johannes Brahms. Clara Schumann, in particular, held a deep fondness for Kirchner, although she noted his lack of stability in character. It is believed that they engaged in a discreet affair in the early 1860s. In 1862, Kirchner moved to Zurich to become the director of subscription concerts. However, this venture only lasted three years. He then dedicated his time to teaching at the music school in Zurich until 1872. During this period, he faced personal struggles, including an unsuccessful marriage. However, in 1884, a group of esteemed composers, including Brahms, raised funds to help Kirchner pay off his debts. Despite the challenges he faced, Kirchner's talent and reputation continued to grow, and he was highly esteemed by composers such as Mendelssohn, Robert Schumann, Brahms, Liszt, Wagner, Dvorak, and Grieg. Theodor Kirchner, a gifted composer and arranger, left a lasting impact on the world of music with his remarkable compositions and arrangements. Known for his skillful transcriptions, Kirchner brought Brahms' two string sextets to life as piano trios, showcasing his exceptional talent. Not stopping there, he also created the vocal score for Brahms' German Requiem and crafted solo piano arrangements of the third and fourth sets of Hungarian dances, as well as the beloved Liebslieder Walzer. As a composer, Kirchner possessed a deep sense of romanticism and had a natural inclination towards creating miniature works. In fact, he is credited with composing over 1,000 piano pieces, many of which are no longer than a minute. This unique style of composing can be seen as a precursor to Webern's bagatelles, showcasing Kirchner's ability to convey profound emotions in a concise format. Among his notable works are the Waltzes, Op. 23, composed in 1876, which he dedicated to his contemporary and friend, Brahms. In addition, he created a suite of characteristic pieces, called Nachtbilder, Op. 25, which includes a quote from Brahms' song, We Bist Do, Mean Conagen. While Kirchner's repertoire primarily consisted of piano compositions, he also ventured into organ pieces, songs, and a few choral and chamber works. Interestingly, Kirchner did not compose any orchestral music himself, but his friend Heinrich Schultzbüthen took some of Kirchner's piano pieces and transformed them into an orchestral suite. This collaboration allowed Kirchner's music to reach new heights and be appreciated by a wider audience. Throughout his career, Kirchner drew inspiration from the works of Robert Schumann, whose music greatly influenced his own artistic style. Today, Kirchner's complete works are being published by Amadeus in Winterthur, ensuring that his musical legacy continues to be celebrated and cherished by future generations of musicians and music enthusiasts. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.